as we continue our Aaron Rodgers, uh, how it impacts the Buffalo Bills. I, I think you said it off camera, said at the very least, this is going to be a lot of fun. Look, ag agree. In the division. Look, now. I love, you know how much I love drama and chaos. This is <laughs> drama and chaos. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But as far as a wins and loss perspective, as a Bills fan, I'm not nervous in any way. Like I said before, the Bills won 13 games. The Jets won seven. You have serious question marks in Miami as much as they think they took a step forward, right? And the Patriots, let's see what they're doing here. If anything, yeah, maybe the Jets gain ground in the division. Maybe the Jets are competing for a wild card spot towards the end of the season. But when it comes to winning a division, I'm not nervous at all. I think you should be nervous. Here's the first leapfrog here. First, New England. You're absolutely right. I don't know what's going on in New England, nor do I even care to, with all their dominance for all the decades they've been they've been in the league. So I'm not quite sure that that whole quarterback situation looks totally unsettled, and we'll see what happens with the draft. We're taping this before the draft, so I don't know who there. There's rumors now that they might go get a quarterback. So that's number one. Two, Miami. It's going to be hard to duplicate that uh, that that same success as last year. They know you're coming now. Two has got a lot of questions. So that means the Jets and the Bills make this to be interesting. Circle it on the calendar. I'm looking forward to both games, both in New York and in Buffalo. Not that you get nervous, but you will notice a four-time MVP quarterback now in your division that. Won wasn't there last sure, year. Sure, sure. Hey, guys, why don't you guys come with me? You want to take a trip with me? Here, get in the van. Come on back to last season. Last you season. want this to be a no, crap no, show. No, you, no, you don't no. want this to be a crap show. Of course, I want it to be a crap show. I know, I know. That's what you're hoping but, hey, for. It's going to make a difference because, uh, and I, you know, you, you promoted your unfinished business. I'm doing the same kind of thing, but we respect Vegas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you pointed out that there was a difference of six games that they won last year between Buffalo and New York. Mm -hmm. Uh, in preseason, and the, the one loss total, that six has been reduced to one. Okay. Based uh, almost entirely on this. Aaron Rodgers acquisition. Come with me. Are you guys know that yet? Come with me. <laughs> well, well, I mean, uh, who's, his, who's his offensive coordinator? Who did they get for him? Who did they basically oh, you know who they got? Set, they got set the table for Aaron Rodgers? It's actually the perfect transition because they got Nathaniel Hackett. Do you guys remember where Nathaniel Hackett was last year? Yeah, a terrible head coach, no, but no, a no, good no, offensive no, no, coordinator. He was in Denver, and I seem to remember around this and time last year. Yeah. This time last year, everyone was talking about us. All star quarterback coming to a team with a defense, right? The defense was amazing. All they needed was a guy to push him over the top. They had all the offensive weapons, a first round wide receiver that they drafted. Russell Wilson is going to make the Broncos a legitimate contender against the Kansas City Chiefs. Wah, 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 wah. This is the exact same story with some of the same actors in it, Bill. Can you not admit there are coordinators that should never be head coaches? They should be coordinators. Agreed. So the, Nathaniel Hackett okay. is one of them. I would make the argument that the Jets head coach is a head coach that should not be a head coach and should only be a coordinator. Play the numbers. So it was six games last year. How how much closer do you think the Jets are with this? I think if there was... What, six behind last year, 13 to seven. How close is it now? I can see the Jets picking up two or three games, but I think that's at the expense of New England, if anything. Mm -hmm. If you want me to be honest, that's what yeah. it is. If the Jets get to ten wins, it wouldn't surprise I, me. I, it I also think, wouldn't surprise me if they don't eclipse six. I think I think I think he's right. I think you look at Patriots, yes. Maybe split with Miami. That could be really interesting. Does going anybody forward. think Jets aren't the second best team now? I think they the are primary the primary threat. I think they are the second best team. And here's the thing. I could see them splitting with the Bills as well, because divisional games are tough, but I don't think they come within a baseball swing of that first place in the AFC East. I have oh, a lot of overconfidence in Buffalo. I don't know. I thought we'd be happy. <laughs> overconfidence? Yes. Where have you been? I, I don't know. Where have you guys been? <laughs> yeah, it sure is interesting, though. Miami and New York are, are, are definitely better, and Buffalo is still the best team. It's, it's going to be fun. Thank you.